Climate change, and particularly the rising seawater temperatures associated with this phenomenon, are what worries most of us marine biologists the most. So yes, we're certainly concerned with local scale stressors like seawater pollution and overfishing, but at a truly global scale, the rate at which temperatures are rising right now is really scary. And it's particularly worrisome for coral biologists because we've known for decades that corals are thermosensitive. If we can mitigate the local scale stressors, um, the overfishing, the sedimentation from overdevelopment, the agricultural runoff that are all problems, we're gonna give these corals a better chance to survive the elevated temperatures in which they'll find themselves. We can now take samples from corals that still look beautiful, they're still growing, um, they have all, they're exhibiting all the visible signs of health, but we can peer into their cells using molecular technology and look for stress sensitive biomarkers. So maybe this coral is still, you know, today is doing fine, but we're able to detect sublethal, more subtle signs of stress that may tell us something about um, the future perspective of this coral. And um, I'm pleased to say that in the last few years, I've really made progress in this looking at proteins. And um, the Jump Pro suite has been instrumental in ensuring that I was able to take these molecular data, um, churn them into a really nice predictive model that's, that's given me a pretty good accuracy in terms of which corals will survive the bleaching events, which ones will become diseased, which ones are least resilient. So what I've been doing use recently is using Jump Pro to undertake what I call coral reef triage. By that, I mean a data science driven means of ranking reefs along a spectrum of health and resilience from weak to strong. So the idea would be if there was a model I developed in Jump Pro that I, that I trusted, it's given me good accuracy, I could go out there to a reef where I don't know anything about it. I could collect some seawater data, collect some data from the coral, take pictures, count the number of fish, the things, the kind of tried and true ecological things we always do, and then input those data into the predictive models I'm building with Jump Pro. What those models are gonna do, they're gonna spit out a guess based on, or a prediction, based on the data that I've input. And it's gonna tell me, all right, based on these data you've just given me, this reef over here is in bad shape. I might give it a one on a scale of one to 10. Maybe it's not even worth your effort to try to save that reef, it's too far gone. However, you also gave me data from this reef over here. It's got a lot of corals that are more resilient it's got cleaner water. This might be the reef you want to prioritize for conservation. So I'm, I really think these types of data are useful for marine management because unfortunately we know, you know, we're limited by resources, by funding, by personnel. We need to have a way of prioritizing or, or triaging our conservation efforts. And I think it's critical that the marine managers know the kind of relative stress levels or the relative health of the reefs under their jurisdiction. So these are the types of data that I'm generating uh, and the types of predictive models I'm developing with Jump Pro. So yes, I'm concerned about climate change. I do think um, we'll see corals go extinct. We'll see reefs lost in certain areas, but I am optimistic that if we're able to mitigate at the local scale, have really well managed reefs, we can give these corals a chance. And I think that's something that um, marine biologists have done a really excellent job at. And I, I look forward to participating and working with marine managers in the future to try to, to foster coral resilience at local scales by mitigating the things that we can control, the fishing, the seawater quality, the coastal development. These are things, while not easy, we can have control these in a way that could potentially give corals a chance.